Hey, you like view games? You like anime music views? You like DuckTales and Avatar? Well, why don't you go subscribe to my Patreon to get some extra stuff if you like to see more of my content. It also helps support the channel. More info at the end of the video. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm excited, guys. I'm way more excited than any other Truth vs. Video ever. Because even though I'm revisiting a game that I haven't really touched since 2018, I'm so excited. And hopefully my opinions still stay higher for this game because, you know, it's Super Smash Bros. Melee. This game basically made the fighting game community what it is today in 2020. Hopefully not. But, you know what? Let's go put it in. This game's gonna be... Hey, what's going on? Ha <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh, come on, Trujnoit. What is it you're doing? I'm trying a review review game here. Whatever, bro. We know what? I'm not letting you review Super Smash Bros. Melee right now until you decide to do something for me. Well, why would I ever do anything for you? I'm about to go and steal your Subway sandwich if you don't do what I want you to do. If you touch that sandwich? Fine, whatever. So, what is it you want anyway? I need you to beat the classic mode of Super Smash Bros. Melee with one life. No, you're drunk. Go home. <sighs> Whatever, bro. Are you in a closet? No! <laughs> So, going back and looking at all my older reviews, this is definitely one that I feel like this kind of just doesn't really need to way be revisited, but you know what? For this type of marathon, why not? I want to revisit Super Smash Bros. Melee because why not? It's Super Smash Bros. Melee. This game basically set the standard for fighting games in general. This game essentially made Super Smash Bros. what it is today. And to be completely honest, after getting Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I was actually kind of hesitant to go back to Melee because if this game was loved so much, maybe I'll have a different opinion. <gasps> what? A different opinion than what the world has set up for me? Yeah, I'm not gonna buy any of that. I still love Super Smash Bros. Melee, but there is a couple things I would like to still talk about. Let's start with the cons first before we continue. Alright, let's start with the cons. Now, despite everything I say about this game, go check it out. Go at least play at least an hour of it, and then come and tell me in the comments what you think of the game. But, let's be real here for a second. One of the reasons why a lot of people really do like this game is because of its speed. It's fast. This game is no doubt the fastest fighting game you will play in this generation of consoles. Like, no joke, this game is crazy fast. When it comes to different types of combos, when moving the speed of each character, it's a little bit too much for me, to be completely honest. I've actually died a number of times recording footage of this game because of how fast the gameplay is compared to all the other games like Ultimate. And even though Ultimate is the newest game and actually one I recommend a little bit over Melee, this game is still good for GameCube standards. If you are at all investing any type of money into a GameCube, get Super Smash Bros. Melee. This is a game that you should need. Well, first off, let me talk about some of my personal experiences with Super Smash Bros. Melee that I probably didn't talk about in my review of the game back in 2018. First off, the game was actually my very first ever game ever. Like, if I can remember correctly, this game I remember seeing in action first. Super Smash Bros. Melee was the first game I saw ever, and I just fell in love with it. The fact of all these different characters, I thought all of them spawned from this game, and it was ridiculous. We got characters with like, like fire, we got characters with swords, we got characters with laser beams. It's essentially the theme song to DuckTales. But it's just 
crazy how this game works. It's crazy that you get all these other characters that I realize are from different games in general. Like, I needed to go and play all these ones. The ones I didn't get to right away was Pokemon, but that's because I didn't really understood what Pokemon was, even though I did own a sweater long ago with Pokemon on it. It's pretty weird, my childhood is. But you know what? Despite all that, I still remember having so many fun memories. The one thing that I will remember to this day, it's music. Oh my gosh, this music. This music hits you like a freaking frying pan to the face. Oh, so beautiful. The intro music, so beautiful. The menu music, so mmm. Everything about this game is good. Everything music wise about this game is good. And it's just. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep my cool here just a little bit, but. This is honestly what I think about this game. Super Smash Bros. Melee is completely different from every other fighting game at this time. And it would just, it made the GameCube the GameCube. I feel like this, without this game, we wouldn't have seen any type of GameCube backward compatibility when the Wii came out. It was because of Super Smash Bros. Melee, I feel like a lot of people even know what the GameCube is. And now everyone knew about the 64, and I feel like a lot less people knew about the GameCube, especially because the Xbox and PS2, especially the PS2, oversold both systems. But everyone knows Nintendo, and everyone knows about this crazy game known as Super Smash Bros. Melee. And there's one last memory I'd like to kind of show off in this Choose Versus is actually one that happened at my local church. So our church threw this thing for the 5th and 6th players called the lock-in. Essentially, we you know, have like a midnight service and other than that we just chill out, we have karaoke and a bunch of fun nights. And I always walk the karaoke table, right? But there was also a tournament for Super Smash Bros. Melee that at the end of the night I would be able to get a prize if I won. And I've trained hard for this since it got announced. I remember playing so many hours of Super Smash Bros. Melee, actually unlocking pretty much every character unlocked, and didn't get any of the last levels unlocked, unfortunately. But you know what? I still had fun doing it. I mastered Marth to the point that I knew what Caroline was, the point that I knew how to actually play as him. And then when Tome came, I still won. And heck, I even got to beat up the main manager that was actually there. Like, he actually got to face him. Which, by the way, he's one of my closest friends, and he was actually good with Pichu of all characters. Pichu! This little adorable thing that shouldn't even be in Super Smash Bros. to begin with. And he still ended up being me. It was a very close match, but you know what? We had fun with it, and because he was winning it, I actually didn't lose the tournament to him. I actually ended up winning, and you know what I got? Spray bottles of Silly String. Yep, I honestly thought I would win something gaming related, but you know what? I was still happy about it because I had a good time playing through Super Smash Bros. Melee with this tournament, and that is actually my best memory with this game. Despite me going up with the game and it being my very first ever video game ever, just playing the game with a bunch of other like-minded individuals made this game super good. 
Now, the other con I like to talk about is that it's kind of weird to unlock all the stuff in this game, but you know what? As soon as you unlock all the playable characters, the maps are secondary. This game is filled to the brim with a lot of beautiful maps, a lot of beautiful characters, and honestly, one of the best soundtracks that the GameCube and heck, even Nintendo had to offer and still has to offer. If you guys haven't yet, download the soundtrack because it's so good! Back in 2018, I gave this game a review that I felt like honestly I did a better job with that video than this one since this one's essentially just a memory review that I was talking about all my memories with this game, which in actuality is why I love Super Smash Bros. so much. But if you guys want to go see that video, it's still down there in the original True's Voices playlist, but hopefully I get some people excited to actually go back and boot up the old GameCubes and actually go and play this game again. And you know, it was that same year that we actually got this game, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and that was mainly the reason why I was doing that Super Smash Bros. video, was because literally everyone was hyped up about this game, and now in 2020, it's still gaining DLC, it's still gaining new types of characters. We got characters like Banjo and Kazooie, Joker from Persona 5, we got this guy named Terry Bogard, like what is a Terry Bogard, am I right? And then of course we get some of the weaker characters like Bailiff, but you know what, he's, he's decent. I won't go on a bailiff but a tangent even though I've never touched three houses, nor does I really have any sort of desire to. Let's be honest, I have my own Fire Emblem game that I've played and it's kind of, well, I'll save it for another review. But you know what? I think we're about to go and end this GameCube marathon. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Also, if you guys haven't yet, please go check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash thegamingtruge to go and get different types of rewards and also help out your favorite video game rapper, video game player, and different all around just a different YouTuber that I just love to do. Of course, the money will go to mainly different types of hardware for new video games, new music, Equipment, more microphone equipment for me to record stuff and parts for my PC as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. House was a great night and keep gaming. Let me face, let me face, let me face.